everyone, welcome back to another video where today I want to talk to you a little bit about this report from The Sun with regards to the Susan Twist character. This came out a little while ago and I was going to cover it as part of a larger theory video, but seeing as we've got another full trailer coming out tomorrow, I felt it was best to push that full theory video back until after that trailer had released so I could go over all your theories for the new series in one go rather than having one dedicated to trailer one and then another dedicated to trailer two. It just made sense to sort of put them all together. So I'm just going to cover this because I do find it kind of interesting. Apologies for making you read The Sun, but they are the ones who reported this and I'm going to do my best to break it down and discuss what they actually said, see whether it's, you know, got any sort of legitimacy to it. And yeah, we're just going to have a good old time. So do me a favour, subscribe if you're new. That would be greatly appreciated. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before season one airs. I don't know whether we can do it. We've still got a ways to go, but you guys have been super supportive at the moment, which I can't thank you enough for. I also just wanted to make a slight addendum to yesterday's video. In yesterday's video, I said that these were images of a Beep Me plush. It was later revealed on Twitter that this was actually a prototype used by Millennium FX for the Star Beast that was shown off at the Giggle screening. So I apologize for that bit of inaccuracy. I just wanted to make sure that you guys had, you know, the fully accurate picture. However, everything else I say in that video and yesterday's video is still true. Russell T. Davis still said on a podcast that a Beep Me plush is at least in prototype phase. So that's all true. It's just that those images aren't necessarily indicative of the prototype they're working on for a Beep Me plush. Just wanted to put that out there. And yeah, let's get on with the video. So as I said, this came out about like two weeks ago, but I wanted to cover it because I haven't actually gotten around to it yet. Big twist, Coronation Street star joins Doctor Who as major new villain and she's already made a surprise appearance. Coronation Street star Susan Twist has been snapped up by Doctor Who to play a new big bad. The actress who played Lydia Hartman and Donna Stout in Two Sins on the Cobbles has already made two appearances in the sci-fi show, The Sun Kid Reveal. I mean, The Sun ain't revealing that, we've seen her in, the, in two of the episodes, while Blue Yonder and Church on Ruby Road, respectively. Show bosses have intricately weaved Susan's character, who goes by a variety of names, into both the 60th anniversary specials and Shooty Gatwa's full-time debut on Christmas Day. She was first seen on screen playing Mrs. Meridew in Wild Blue Yonder. The character can be seen talking to Isaac Newton before he identifies Mavity in the 1600s. However, in an intriguing twist, the actor reappeared in the Christmas special, this time in modern-day London. She could be seen watching Ruby Sunday's band, played by former Coronation Street actress Minnie Gibson, play at the bar. When the goblins hijacked events and the music stops, she heckled the band. Give it some welly, she shouted from the crowd, while dressed in 1970s style outfit, but then she curiously adds, can you do Gaudente? Gaudente is a Christmas carol composed in the 16th century around the time Isaac Newton and therefore Miss Marriage you existed. I actually did not know that. I actually didn't know that. I imagined it was just a random Christmas song reference. The appearance was uncredited with bosses wanting to keep her return more of a secret. However, the Sun can exclusively reveal that Susan will appear again and again in the upcoming eight-part series beginning May 11th. She will play business tech word Susan Triad, head of Triad Industries, a company that will and has been quietly referenced throughout the series. Bonnie Langford's Mel already revealed that Unit were using Triad software to defend the Earth during the final David Tennant-led special. I hadn't even put that together, to be honest, that there was a company called Triad Technology in the series 14 filming images from ages ago, and in the 60th unit we're using Triad. Very interesting. A source said Susan's characters are going to appear throughout time and space following the Doctor through his adventures, but she won't be a friendly foe. She's going to be a huge foe for the Time Lord of Ruby to face off against, and the reveal will be explosive. So yeah, this is pretty interesting. I mean, I didn't know that Gaudente was like a thing from the 1600s. I assume I'm saying that right, which is around the time of Isaac Newton. That's a really, really clever little hidden detail that I knew nothing about, obviously, as well. The mention of Triad in the 60th and Triad Technologies being a company we've seen on the set of series 14 filming so it looks like according to this report at least she could be running triad technologies and something that people have pointed out that's interesting is that if you look at the series 14 trailer the first one on the disney plus youtube channel on the background of one of the unit monitors it says s triad 
Susan Triad. But what's even more interesting about that is that if you rearrange the letters S and Triad, you get TARDIS. So my personal theory is that she's a Time Lord. This has led to a lot of people speculating that she's the meddling monk, which actually I think would make a lot of sense, given that she seems to be implanting herself across different points in time and different big events within time. Obviously, the Rani is another good guess, but that, I think, might more likely be reserved for Mrs. Flood, if it is indeed a returning character. It could well be a new character that we're not aware of, but I do find it interesting that if you put S and Triad together, you get TARDIS, Susan Triad, Susan Twist. It makes sense. Whatever the case is, I'm very curious to see how it, like, all comes together. I do wonder if Mrs. Flood and Susan Twist, those characters have any connection whatsoever, or if they're completely separate. Time will tell, of course, but they both seem relatively similar in some ways. I mean, obviously, with Mrs. Flood, she identified the TARDIS and also seems to know more than she appears, and obviously that's also the case with Susan Twist or Susan Triad or whatever you want to call her. Not to mention, if you remember back to one of my videos talking about Series 15 filming, we spot Mrs. Flood in the past, and obviously we know Mrs. Meridew or, you know, Susan Twist has been spotted at multiple different time zones as well, indicating that both characters possess the ability of time travel. One of my personal little theories is that they could be the black and white guardian, respectively, setting a trap for the Doctor. Maybe that's what the S triad thing is sort of alluding to, because we know, because we know from the season one trailer that the TARDIS, it looks like there's something wrong with the TARDIS, and from things that Russell D. has said as well, it seems to be getting more and more violent. Another theory I've heard, which is a pretty good one, I think Joe came up with this, Confused Adipose came up with this, that Susan Triad is herself a TARDIS in human form, much in the same way as Idris, and maybe she is the human manifestation of the TARDIS, who's trying to alert the Doctor of maybe a fault with the TARDIS. That's also a really, really good theory. It could go anywhere, but I'm very, very interested to see what it could be. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Who do you think Susan Twist slash Triad is? Whatever your thoughts are, drop them down in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you later.